Santa Barbara police have got to get someone over to our house. <sighs> Eden, you don't even know what's going on yet. Would, look, would you just pack our bags and get and put them in the car? I, I want to go as soon as I'm through. Yes, this is Eden Capwell. Yes, I'm calling from Lake Tahoe, and I want to have someone sent over to my house at 300 Park Lane, Montecito, immediately. I just got off the phone with my brother, and he said that he needed help. I, I don't know. Well, I'm leaving now. I'm, I'm getting on our plane, and, and I'm coming back home. I, I don't know. Look, I got cut off. All I know is that he needed help immediately. Something is wrong. Something is horribly wrong. Please, just send help. Please don't hurt me. Somebody, a, a, a doctor. No. But, but people will want to know. They'll want to know you're all right. The, the family's been I helping. don't want them to know a thing. Not, not until I'm ready. And if you say one word, you rot in prison for attempted murder. You understand me? I don't understand why. You just do as I tell you. 
Don't even think it, Gina. I've got just, just enough strength to handle you. So for once in your life, shut up and listen. I wish you'd let me drive. Just read the map and tell me when to turn. But will you slow down? I'm fine. I know it has to be Daddy. I know something wrong has to have happened to Daddy. That's why Mason sounded so awful. Sweetheart, Mason has been known to hit the bomb. Kirk, he wasn't drunk. He didn't even have time to register who was on the other end of the line before he begged for help. Well, I'm glad it was you. That's all I can say. I mean, if it was me, I don't think I'd be so quick to come to the rescue. It's my brother. Well, I'd never known that matters much to him. Kirk, all you've seen is 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 the bad side sometimes. I mean, if I were in trouble, if I were in really bad trouble, Mason would be there for me. He was there for Ted. He was there for Mama when she was caught in that fire. When push comes to shove, Mason does come through. And by God, I am going to do the same for him. It's all right, you know. What? If it brings back certain memories. Being here, I, I understand. I didn't know this was going to happen, or I wouldn't have uh, brought you here. I'm, I'm sorry. Cruz. You and Eden shared a lot together. And sometimes certain things will remind you of her. I've been taking on extra shifts at work, you know, trying to keep busy. That, that seems to help. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm supposed to call in right about now, actually. You don't have to go back to the precinct, do you? No, but uh, this, this buddy of mine is uh, working on a case that's kind of... Uh, it's a little extra tricky, and I, I promised him I'd give him a call and uh, see how it's going on it. Well, if, if it helps, that's fine, but there is um, sometimes working too much. Yeah, I, no, I'm okay. It's just uh, I need to uh, get to a phone, that's all. Uh, I hate to see this fire go out. It marks the end of a red-letter night. Second date in ten years. <laughs> yeah. Life in the fast lane. Can you handle it? Yeah, I'll try. I really like that music. It reminded me of back then. What we were like. Kids. Yeah, kids. You know, I really think that, that I changed a lot. But to tell you the truth, I don't think you have. <laughs> Please, all I thought about was fixing my car in those days. I think I've evolved a little, you know. Oh, I guess you have, but... Your values have stayed the same. You may think that all you thought about was, was fixing that car of yours. But I remember this reputation that you had. Standing up for people. Couldn't stand up for themselves. You want to be a cop, is that what you mean? No. You have the strongest sense of fairness that I know. Anyone. Thank you. It's one thing I love about you. Let me say we take a walk. I'll tell you some of the things I love about you. I hope it isn't too hard. That'll be the easiest assignment I've had in weeks. Well, I guess I'll just go up and check Mr. Capwell while you get dressed for dinner. Do you know who the nurse is on duty tonight? No, I don't know. My next shift is until tomorrow afternoon, so I didn't bother to check. Oh, what time are the reservations? 8.30. I told him to save us a table by the window. Who's them? This terrific place down on the beach. I hear great things about it. Oh, good. I love restaurants on the water. I know. Oh, I better get that. Hi, Mary. Mark? Oh, uh, uh, come on in. Hi. What can we do for you? Um, I'm looking for Mason. Is he all right? Uh... I don't know. Is there a problem? We, we just got here. Well, I'm not really even sure if he's here. Maybe it was silly for me to come looking for him, but I just got the feeling that something was weird. Like what? We were supposed to have dinner here together, but his secretary called a little while ago and had to cancel out. I mean, I can understand if he had to break the date, but he could have at least called me himself. I'm a little ticked. Is he here? I'll look around. Thanks, Mary. Uh. Look, if you've got...
got something to do, don't let me keep you. Well, actually, I was just going to go up and check on Mr. Capwell. Oh, I didn't realize you were his doctor. Only when his regular doctors are unavailable. Oh. Surprise, Mason hasn't told you that. Mason and I have other things to talk about. <laughs> oh, I'll bet you do. I just hope he's okay. I get the feeling something's wrong. You don't sound good. <laughs> I don't sound good. Is that what you said? A moment ago, I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. Why don't you want anyone to know you're all right? That's my business. Fix the sheets. Fix them. You and I are going to spend a lot of time together, Gina. But why? I, I can't do anything for you. I'm not a nurse. You'd be better off with... You were going to carry out my plans. What plans? Until I choose to talk, until I choose to get out of this bed, you were going to be my voice. You were going to be my arms and my legs. And you will do what I say when I say. But you can't keep something like this. Don't tell me what I can do. I've spent days gathering my strength. I've seen things that I wouldn't have seen if they'd known I was conscious. And I learned a lot. And I'm going to learn more. I don't believe this is happening. I didn't think you were ever going to come out of this. And you were going to make damn sure I wouldn't. With this. No. Remember what you said? You, you said that you wouldn't want to linger on helplessly. I was only You're trying... You're lying. You tried to kill me. You thought if I came to, I'd kill you. Mason, you'll be foul of this house, this family. It's only because you pushed me away. That's the only reason I turned to Mason. You didn't want me. You never wanted me. And I loved you. I know you don't believe me, but I loved you very much. Well, my darling, you will now have a chance to prove. Because you are going to be my constant companion. And you will do whatever I say. What emergency? What time did the call come in? Yeah, you, you sent a car, right? Okay, tell him I'm going to meet him there. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, I'm going to have to drop you off. What happened? Where are you going? A call came into the precinct house and there's something uh, going on wrong at the Capwell house. Is it CC? They're not sure. Just that someone's in trouble and there's a problem with the phone. They, they can't get through. No, I, I don't understand. I don't either, but I, if there's trouble, i got to get there. Cruz, maybe I should go with you. No, I'll drop you off. I'll, I'll call you when I find out what's going on, all right? You're afraid something's happened to Eden, aren't you? I'm just afraid, period. The family's meant a lot to me. Heading 210, projecting arrival in Santa Barbara at 10 minutes. Please tell the hangar to send a car uh, out to the runway. It's extremely urgent that I leave as soon as I can. And would you also please contact the Santa Barbara police immediately? Make sure they're on their way. Uh, and one more thing, would you please ask for Inspector Cruz Castillo, repeat Cruz Castillo, ask that he be contacted and sent to the house. Thank you. Why Cruz? Why do you think? Because I trust him. Well, I'm sure whoever they're sending will, you know, be prepared to take care of an emergency. Maybe so, but they don't know my family. They don't know Mason, or Kelly, Ted. What does that matter? They're still professionals. They'll do what has to be done. Look, I think it should be appropriate that my, fa my, my family should know who's there, okay? I mean, w w is there anything crazy with that? Not if that's the reason. What other reason could there be? 
Well, just that whenever you're scared, Eden, maybe you feel that Cruz is the only one that you can count on. It's not true. No, well, ever since we got that call, I mean, you haven't let me do one thing except pack the bags, but you have, what, drive the car, fly the plane, make the call to the police? Well, maybe I've got to do something. I've got to take control of, of things because it makes me feel better. Is there anything wrong with that? Well? No, I, I just wish you'd give me a chance to help you out. That's all right now. I want to help you, sweetheart. Look, what's wrong right now is that we are flying at 14,000 feet when, when somebody in my family might be dying. So if you want to do something, why don't you just pray that we get an immediate clearance to land, all right? Oh, my God! Mason, what happened to you? Are you all, did you fall? Mm -hmm. Are you hurt? I'm sick. Mason, are you in pain? Are you in pain? Oh, my God, he's losing consciousness. His respiration's very low. What the hell could have happened? There's food all over here. I wonder if I can see it. Mason! Mason! Mason, there's... Did you eat anything that tasted funny? Mason, there is food around here. Did you eat it? Yes. Oh, this could be botulism, isn't it? The central nervous system's obviously depressed. Mark, this, this smells funny. Spoiled meat, you think? No, it's like... It's like a lighter fluid or something. I don't know. Why didn't he smell it himself? Well, it's very faint. If it is lighter fluid, then the symptoms fit. I better give him an impicab and induce vomiting. Mason, come on. Don't fall asleep. Don't you want to know what's going on out there? No. I'm warning you. Just stay here and don't say a word. I was, I was trying to get to Dan. All right, don't worry about that now. No. Somebody made me... Are we trying to hurt him? Get help. Mason. 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 Mark, he's not responding. Mary? Hello, Capitol Residence. Well, uh, I'm not sure, actually. I just got here and someone went to see if they could find him. Could I take a message and have him call you if he's here? Okay, I got it. Is that with a C or a K? Okay. I'm sorry, I've got to go. The, the doorbell. I'll see that he gets the message. Yes? Uh, we're responding to an emergency call. An emergency? Are you Miss Capwell? Well, no, I'm not. What's the trouble? Uh, some sort of emergency. Well, is it Mr. Capwell? He's a stroke victim, is that correct? Well, yes, but there's people with him, a doctor, a nurse. I'm sure I would know if there's an emergency. Uh, could we please go upstairs, miss? Oh, well, of course. I didn't mean to just let you stand up. Hey, what's happening? Is it, uh, Mr. Capwell? Oh, uh, we just got here. This way, let's go. Mason, we're going to give you something now to get rid of whatever it is that's making you sick. You have to get it out of your system. Mason, Mark is going to give you some medicine now. No. The door. Open the door. It's locked. It's a Listen, right now we've got to do something for you. What's going on? we got to call. Cruz, that door is locked. Mason says that someone's trying to hurt CC. Yeah? Check him out. What's happening? What are you doing? That's what we'd like to know. Is he alive? Yes. Well, of course he's alive. You, you think I'd be in here with a dead man? Why was the door locked? Damn it, Gina, answer me. I just wanted to be alone with my husband. Why did you lock the door? Why don't you ask Mason? He's the one that's made it so impossible for me to see my husband. I didn't want to be interrupted again. The man's normal. All the signs are the same as this last shot. So he's all right? Yes, I think so. Well, Mason is not all right. Mark, I need to get him into his What's bed. wrong with Mason? How should I know? 
I've been here with CC for the last hour. Mason is very sick. I don't know, it's food poisoning or a chemical or something, but I need to get to him. All right, you guys go with her. If she needs uh, an ambulance, radio for one. All right. So you don't know anything about that, huh? What are you going to do? Try, try to blame a case of food poisoning on me? They said it could be chemical. I don't believe this. I've been sitting in here with my husband minding my own business. You barge in and start accusing me of everything well, I've Well, I don't understand why you needed to have the door locked, you know? That makes me think maybe you got something to hide around here. I just wanted to be alone with my husband. To do what? Oh, why don't you just come out and say it? You've pointed the finger at me before. I don't know why it should surprise me that you want to do it again. You must be feeling a little nervous with all these reports that he's getting better by the day. Guess you want to take matters into your own hands now before he wakes up and kicks you out of here. I don't have to listen to this. Gia! If you're up to something, you can rest assured that I'm going to find out what it is. No. You go ahead and try. But you won't find anything. what's going on upstairs is someone hurt uh mason's not feeling very well but other than that everything's fine mason is he sick what's wrong i think he's been poisoned nobody seems to know how it happened i'm going up there don't go rushing off gina i don't have anything more to say to you yeah well i got plenty to say to you so why don't we find someplace quiet and have a chat i am not going anywhere with you you want me to get a warrant to get out of the precinct would you rather do that you're crazy. You can't arrest me. I can and I will. Unless we talk now. All right. Good, let's go. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where? Outside. We're going to take a walk. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting out of this house for a while anyway. Sorry about our date. That's all right. I just thought it was a little strange that your secretary called instead of you. What? I just wondered why you didn't call me yourself. Mason. Are you... Oh. She took care of that, too. Who took care of what? Janice. I didn't call tonight off. I thought you did. My secretary didn't call you. That must have been Gina. Well, it didn't sound like her. She must have wanted me alone tonight. So she could poison me. Would she really do that? Janice, I think she's capable of anything. Well, Mason, you should do something. You should tell somebody. I'll go tell the police about my phone call right now. No, no, wait. Promise me you won't do anything until I tell you. I want to, uh, I want to handle this myself. Mason, I don't think you should let a lot of time go by. No. No, I won't, but uh, just let me deal with this. Whoa. Oh, Mason. Mm. I should go and, and just let you get some rest. Yeah, maybe. Thanks for being here. Well, I'll call you in the morning and see how you're doing. Is there anything I can get you before I go? No, thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Somebody called for you. Uh, a Carl Vanderbilt. He left his number. He said to tell you everything is fine and you're in business, whatever that means. Well, at least something went right today. This almost makes the rest of it worthwhile. <sighs> well, how's the patient? He's very tired. I was just about to leave. Yeah, I think that's best. Uh, Mason, you'll probably feel dehydrated temporarily, but I don't think it's a good idea that you have any fluids just yet. We'll take it slow. How's the dizziness? No more dizziness. I'm just sleepy. There's no problems with your vision? I can see you just fine. Not that I particularly want to. Do I have to remind you that I might have just saved your life? As I recall, Mary did most of the work. 
But you have my eternal gratitude. I don't think you're capable of gratitude, Mason. Great sense of humor, huh? Bedside manner to spare. You're already on his bad side. I wouldn't make things worse. Why, is he going to try to poison me too? He has a temper, Mason, a bad one. It's one of the reasons I left and didn't look back. I would hate to see him take anything out on you. Hey. Look, we had our walk. What is it you really want? I guess you don't like walking, huh? You haven't even said a word. No. I can't say I don't mind being out of this house for a while. You don't know what it's like living here. Everybody's against me. Nobody listens to me. Nobody will talk to me. The only reason I stay here is because of CC. I'm not going to desert him. Not, not while he's in that coma. I'm staying here. Mm -hmm. Even if you have to lock the door to do it, huh? Mason's been harassing me. And I don't know why. He won't even let me see CC. He, he hired an armed guard to keep me out of there. Does that surprise you? Yes, it does. Just because I've made a few mistakes... It doesn't mean I should have to live my whole life under a cloud of suspicion. Oh, come on. Now, Gina, you made more than a few mistakes. And today was a big one. I haven't done anything wrong. The, the police aren't even finished investigating the attempt on Cece's life, and now somebody tries to poison Mason. Come on. It had nothing to do with me. Why do you keep accusing me of everything? Why don't you believe me? I didn't do anything wrong. Everybody in this house is just against me. You listen to Eden. You only hear her side of the story. I can understand that. I mean, you used to love her. But you see how she can hurt people. Don't you see what she's trying to do to me? She hates me. Everybody hates me. Even you do. No. I don't hate you. I just think maybe you've done a few things that you shouldn't have. That's all. Serious things. What are you trying to get me to admit to? The truth. I told you the truth. Those are real tears, aren't they? You know, you're a beautiful woman. I'm cold. Gina poisoned you. Somebody did. Doctor said it could have been some kind of botulism. Oh, come on, Kirk. You know what's been going on around here. There's been one proven attempt on Dad's life, several other probable ones. I think it's Gina. She's been trying to get in here for days, and I wouldn't let her. I think she figured the only way she could get in here was to get me out of the way permanently. Seems to me it's time we did something to stop her so she doesn't finally get to Dad. Like what? Convince the police? No, how? There's no real evidence. The, the bottom line is, you're okay, your father's all right, no one has been murdered. You two no help at all. I don't know why you bothered to come back. Mason, we were worried about you. Oh, you were worried about Dad. And now that he's all right, you want to forget the whole thing. So somebody tried to poison me, so what? Maybe next time they'll be successful. Family can throw a party to celebrate. Look, Mason, when Nina thought you were in trouble, she was a basket case. We nearly broke our necks trying to get down here. Now, that's a degree of, de of concern that you just don't deserve. I know what you two think of me, Kirk. I'm just a uh, thorn in your side. A uh, bothersome brother who's always criticizing you for the way you're running the company. Well, you're always crying about mismanagement. You don't have a damn thing to back it up. Quarterly report certainly backs me up. We lost money this quarter for the first time in the last five years. Mason, that's short term. We'll recoup that inside of six months. Maybe I don't want to wait six months. I suppose you would have done better. Infinitely better. Mm hmm Well, Mason, maybe do you have a master plan? I'd be interested to see it. Oh, would you, Kirk? Sure. Wouldn't we, sweetheart? I um, mean, if Mason here has all the answers, let's hear them. 
I, I, I really don't want to waste my time with all this. Excuse me. Well, I'm more sporting than she is. Let's hear this plan of yours, Mason. You think you're calling my bluff, don't you? Just a friendly challenge. Put up or shut up. Oh, I'll put up. I'll have that plan here in a matter of hours. And it's the kind of plan Dad would love. Gina! My jacket. finished with you yet. We're gonna have another talk real soon. Not very soon, I hope. Hey, what have you been? Talking to your old boyfriend. Why don't you ask him all about it? Sabía que estabas aquí. Sí, quería algunas respuestas de Gina. No lo conseguí. Aún no entiendo lo que ha pasado aquí esta noche. Ni yo tampoco. Les pedí que te avisaran. Espero que no te moleste. ¿Tú lo pediste? Sí. Vaya, no lo sabía. Me enteré de que había una emergencia y pensé en tu padre. Y de... En... <risa> Imagino que él haría lo mismo por mí. Me alegro de que estés aquí. ¿Mason está bien? Parece que sí. No tenía buen aspecto cuando llegué. Dice que Gina intentó envenenarle. Ya. Ya lo sé. Esa unidad se encargará del asunto. Así que me marcho. ¿Vuelves a la comisaría? Sí, no, en realidad... Tengo una cita con alguien. No sé... No sé lo que habría hecho si algo le hubiera sucedido a papá. Ahora que todo va tan bien. Sí, está mejorando, ¿no es así? Está mucho mejor. Y hay grandes esperanzas de recuperación por parte de los médicos... Si algo le hubiera ocurrido con tantas esperanzas, yo... Lo sé. Habría sido terrible. Me alegro de que esté mejor. Bueno... Claro. Gracias por venir. No tienes por qué dármelas. No te retengo si vas a ver a alguien. ¿Es Santana? ¿Y eso qué importa? When they came in, I haven't been able to relax since I talked to them. Are you in pain? My stomach muscles feel like they've been through basic training. That'll pass by tomorrow. How about the rest of you? Have you tried to walk yet? Oh, when I stood up, I felt like I was going to pass out again, but no, I can walk now. I think Mark should take another look at you. Oh, please. I'd rather have the vet. Mason. Don't start lecturing me about how he saved my life. He did what any doctor would do in an emergency. That doesn't make us blood brothers. You don't give an inch, do you? 
No, I'm just not going to worship at his shrine, Mary. He can save a life. That doesn't make him a god. In fact, he's all too human. Just ask Janice. Now, what does that mean? She warned me about his temper, Mary. She was frightened just talking about it. Mar Mark is one of the most even-tempered people I know. Maybe you haven't had occasion to provoke him yet. I refuse to argue with a sick man. Try and get some rest. Mary, I'm only warning you because I, because I worry about you. When I think of somebody getting angry with you, maybe hurting you, I can't stand it. I want to protect you. I can take care of myself. I'm certainly not worried about Mark. You may think you know him, Mary, but you can't be sure until you've seen him under pressure. I'm going to have to lose you. At least I want to lose you to somebody who'll be good to you. You know, the longer I know you, the, the less I can figure you out. There, There's so much that's good about you, and there's so much... It's bad. Try to get some rest. Hey, I'm sorry about this evening. <laughs> it's okay. I've never had a date in installments before. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, I just, I, I figured uh, maybe it was early still. And Cruz, uh, I, I was just kidding. Yeah. So, Cece's all right? He's fine, but I don't know how he'd be if we'd have gotten there a little later. What happened? I'm trying to figure that out, Santana. It's, it's so weird. You know, that he, Gina was locked up in his bedroom, and, and Mason was out with some kind of food poisoning or something. And I don't know. It's just the only thing I know for sure is that somehow Gina has got to be involved. Yeah, well, what else is now? It always comes back to Gina. If she's not the one who tried to kill him that other time, I bet she knows who did. Did you talk to her tonight? Yeah, for all the good it did. I'd say that woman is as devious as they come. You should have seen the tears. Yeah, crocodile tears. She's done that a million times about Brandon. They never meant anything. Yeah, well, they seem to mean something tonight. She was very upset. In fact, she almost seemed desperate. Which means she could be dangerous. Very dangerous. What are you doing? Get out of my way! This won't take long. I just wanted to say, better luck next time. I don't know what you're talking about. Gina, I'm sorry that it didn't work out. I mean, they never noticed a tiny little needle mark. They just figured that the stroke finally got to him. I saw you yesterday, Gina. Look, I don't know what you think you saw. I saw you take the syringe out of the doctor's bag. I saw you, Gina, plain as day. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Well, I haven't really decided yet. You know, you can't prove anything. No, but I know what I saw. I'm sure the police would be very interested. So would your old buddy Mason. Not to mention all the other things that I know, like the fact that this is not the first time that you've tried to send the old man to his reward. I, I don't care what you saw. It doesn't matter. You think about it, Gina. You think about whether you want me telling what I know. You think about it for a little while, and we'll talk. I never know how frightened I was when I saw you lying there. When I knew you were blacking out. I've never felt so helpless. I try to hide it. But it's there every time I see you. I love you. I wish I didn't, but I do.
fight, I know. But when I saw you walk out of here tonight, right now you're with her, not me. Laughing with her. Touching her. Oh, God, Cruz, it hurts so much. I want to love you enough to let you go, but I'm just not strong enough. I still want you. I still love you. That's all there is. I can't open that up to include someone else. When I married Kirk, I did it for you more than for myself to let you know that you must live your life without me. But I never knew how much it would feel like dying. I know it's you, Gina. I don't even have to see anymore. I can sense things. Don't stay away too long next time. I couldn't get back. People were questioning me. You've got a job to do. What job? I want you to get the entire family into this room. And I want them to stay here for a while. To feel comfortable. And to talk. I want them to reveal themselves right in front of me. While they still think I can't see or hear or think. I want them to bear their souls. It's time to find out who my friends are. From now, DJ Cat and the gang will be along with our daily dose of cartoon mayhem. Ahead of that at 3.15, it's the new Leave It to Beaver. And coming up next here on Sky One, it's a question of ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Dispose of your ex-husband if you must. <laughs>